احلى مسا عليكم جيمرز اند جنتلمن احمد باجت حيكم من قناه فرجني والمزيد من لعبه الان ويك ريماسترد اللعبه المفاجاه اللي انا ما كنتش متوقع انها لعبه جميله بالطريقه دي طبعا الحلقه اللي فاتت كانت حلقه مميزه جدا وكان وصلنا للاندرسون فارم مزرعه الاخوان اندرسون دول كانوا عندهم فرقه روك زمان وتعرضوا لتجربه مماثله للتجربه بتاعت الان ويك وطبعا اتجننوا تقريبا وقاعدين في المصاحه بتاعت الدكتور اللي ركبته الضلمه برده واتجنن هو كمان وانا هربت بعجوبه من العياده بتاعته طبعا كل الاحداث دي كانت في الحلقه فاتت كانت حلقه شيقه جدا انصحكم تشوفوها لو ما شفتوهاش ونستانف على بعض هذه لعبه جميله ولكن قبل ما نبدا لو انتم اول مره تشوفوا الفيديو بتاعها تدعمني ممكن تنزل تشترك في القناه تحت وتعمل لايك للفيديو وتعليقاتكم ما تحرميش منها وبشكر كل الشباب الداعمه على تعليقاتكم الجميله اللي بتشجعنا على الاستمرار وهي بقى نستانف ونشوف بقى بعد ما خلصنا وتجاوزنا الفارم نشوف ايه اللي جوه البيت بتاع الاندرسون وهي بينا نلعب طبعا انت واقف هنا ليه بتعمل ايه طب تعالوا نستكشف الارجاء بسرعه كده طبعا هنا سور في كل حته ودي المفروض لها بتحدد اتجاه الرياح وسرعتها وبيستعملوها برضو غالبا اللي هم طلعوا بيها الميه من البير البير اللي هو مقفول ده اصلا مش بير عميق ولا حاجه اني anyway, واي خلينا نخش جوه نشوف الموضوع نشوف ايه اللي جوه البيت انت فين يا باري اه احنا كنا وقفنا مره فاتت عايزين We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. غالبا احنا محتاجين نزق دي بطريقه ما عشان نعرف ندخل البيت. هذا الشيء. وغالبا دي علاقه بدي. دي ممكن نحاول نطلع لها بقى من من مكان ما. طبعا كل الحته دي منطقه كبيره ومفتوحه. هنعبي بس السلاح بتاعنا كده ايه آه يعني تحسبا لظلم مفاجآت غير متوقعة طبعا الأشياء دي كلها يعني في تراكتر اهو محرات المحرات ده المفروض يتحول في تلبسه الضلمة ويطير بقى وايه ويديني في وشي كالعادة كما عودتني اللعبة دائما في كهرباء هنا اهي بس دي غالبا هوصلها بعد ما اعدي البيت غالبا يعني شوف بقى جنب البيت هنا مفيش طبعا مجال اطلع من هنا اه في سلم اهو نقفز اوعى تقع هنا هنا هو ايه اللي خلاهم يجيبوا اليافطه دي معاهم؟ ننزل هنا على طول اخرس وتعالى نخش This from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV. Who is Ozzy Osbourne? Ah, television. Sleep. We all spend the night spring. Man, somewhere between fantasy and living. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your first real writing job. What got you started? Was this one of your episodes? In Night Springs. Tonight's episode. The Dream of Dreams. Eh, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait 
until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh, wow. Who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. All of this. But wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Isn't... isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. But I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I, a shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys. And they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we keep him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat... Oh... Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey, something... something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us, it's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man, I got a wife and kids. Please don't wait. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram.
Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. open, okay? As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was saying, you know, other could try. And how would you compare your workload to last year? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty really wild. There's been a lot of problems this year. Families are fighting, a lot of disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods.
Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hey, hey, let's go, man. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. Hey, I think that's the form on the other side of the field. We're almost there! This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. معلش يا جماعة أنا كان كنت عامل ميوت ونسيت أفك الميوت في اللعبة فاعذروني الفترة اللي فاتت دي كانت سايلنت جدا حلوة سايلنت جدا دي وغالبا مش هحط لها تعليق يعني هسيبها من غير تعليق كرامة تغيير يعني دي مجال اتحرك طيب شكرا طبعا كعادة اللعبة بيت فسيح يخلو من الديكورات والديتيلز دي تلاته كلها متواضعة جدا وفقيرة تعال هات ده اللي انا مش عارف لازمته لغاية دلوقتي عمال اجمع فيه تقول لعبة وخلاص ساوند سيستم ودرمز ترامبتس في حاجه هنا The power downstairs was out but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box The power downstairs was out but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box فين بقى الفيوز بوكس Downstairs يعني هو يعني بيقول downstairs هو المفروض يكون في مثلا مدخل للدور الارضي ماشي ما بدور هو يا باري ما انت اصلا لو ليك بلازما بدل الرغي الكتير ده كنت ساعدتني نطلع فوق طيب نشوف فيوز بوكس فوق كاتب ايه الحيطه الكتريك جيتار مانيسكريبت ها 
Are you what? You're not no more relevant. מזיקת אגן נינה גמר אסר אומה שטרית מזיקה ודו אשתגל אהלן מבאש יגרי באים שברוחה בסוף סוף גאי מן הנה לא הנה ده جاي من بره يمكن انا حاسس ان هو جاي من بره يا جماعه تعال نشوف بره كده أصلاً الكورس عمال يتعاد وهي حتة بس في الأغنية مش أغنية كاملة يعني من هنا؟ مش عايز تعدي ولا إيه؟ عدي لا مش مش مسموح لي نعدي هنا يا جماعة I'll play the record here now, that's all. Okay. Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? Lila, it's not a good thing. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. But it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. أجيب هذا المكان يا جماعة شكوا لسه في الحلم يا جماعة 
هو طبعا بيقول لي اروح هناك بس انا عايز اجي هنا ما اعرفش ليه A suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. Whatever power had brought me back to this night at the lake was also stopping me from leaving. I had no choice but to see it through, to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. Alice! <coughs> I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. يا جدعان الدماغ دي. الاخراج رائع بصراحة. حتى مميزة في اللعبة جدا. مين بقى الواقف في الويندو؟ The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. دي الولية صاحبة الضلمة. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobwebs she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story, and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. She stole the skin of my armor a long time ago. She looks so old.
I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Oof. Hail. Into here, chapter four, even. Oh, episode four. Ah. طيب انا شايف ان احنا كده يعني قطعنا شوط حلو واكتشفوا حاجات انا طبعا ما كنتش بترجم قوي كل حاجه بالتفصيل ولكن واضح اللي هو ده اللي حصل زي ما انتم شفتوا في الفيديو اللي فات اللي جات له الست اللبس اسود دي وقالت له اللي انت يعني خليته يحس بتنيب الضمير وان هو السبب في مقتلها وهي عايزاه يكتب وهي عايزه اللي هو يكمل قصه لسبب ما فهو لما كتب القصه حصل حاجه كده وبدا يعني تقريبا الظلام او الظلمه اثرته وجي حد حرره تقريبا الشخص اللي هو دماغه كلها اضواء دي انا مش عارف مين ده بالظبط وعرف يهرب من المكان وهو ماشي آه عمل الحادثه طبعا عشان هو كان انكونشس وكان بيروح آه من الوعي المهم يا رب يكون استمتعتوا بالمشاهده يا شباب وطبعا التراك اللي شغال ده هو نفس التراك اللي شغلوه في في الاندرسون براذر هاوس يعني التراك ظريف يعني بصراحه اتمنى اسيبه بس يا رب ال الكوبي رايتس ما تعملش سترايك على الفيديو دوت وعلى القناه ربنا يستر بقى الموضوع ده كان معاكم احمد بقى جت جيمرز اند جنتلمان وما تنسوش طبعا تسيبوا في تعليقات ايه رايكم في الجيم بلاي لغايه دلوقتي ونبدا بعض الشابتر اللي جاي او الابيسود اللي جاي ابيسود 5 على بركه الله ونشوف اللي هيحصل فيها واشوفكم هناك والفيديو الجاي ومع السلامه